Hi, this is Audrey with The Creator's Attic. I'm here to show you another quick and simple idea that you can do using very little supplies, but come up with a very unique look. You can make this in so many different ways, and I'm not referring to this cluster that I have here on this page. I'll z I have actually des decided how I might want it on my uh, page here in a cluster, but I have not um, I have not glued any of this down, but I will show you, I'm going to deconstruct it so I can kind of show you what I've done. All this is, is a, some ink, a piece of cheesecloth, some glue, an index card, and I'll take this off. I mean, you don't have to have all of this. I'll take this off. This is actually embroidery thread. I have actually constructed this um, textured, I would call it textured because it looks three-dimensional looking flower and I have the back um, down and this has all been made with an index card and embroidery thread and glue, okay? So none of this really matters. This is not what I'm showing you today. This is just, it was just for looks, okay? So uh, anyway, you can make these in so many different colors, beautiful colors, um, and I have not worked on this journal page at all. I just was playing around with the idea. So I just came up with the idea, so I wanted to share it while it was fresh. Okay, so let's, um, let me show you the steps that I did to making this flower. Okay, so let me remove this stuff that I put down and, ugh. Okay, and reveal the crazy gluey desk that I have here, and we'll get started. Okay, so all you need is an index card, and I used a three-quarter inch um, hole punch, round hole punch. This is the EK, um, but um, any any punch will do. I just chose this size because I didn't want to use up a, a whole dreadful lot amount of, or of an amount of my embroidery thread. Uh, so um, this is, and it's the perfect size for what I want it for. And these are so cute. These would be so cute on a page in your journal or on cards or whatever else you want to do with them. So let me show you. Basically, all you need to do is just take your index card. You can even take a half an index card, okay? So let me just, instead of messing up a new one, I'm just gonna punch out two. That's it. And this is a flimsy card. Um, it's not anything special. It's just thick enough to where I can um, do uh, it just, it's thick enough to have um, a sturdier base. So what I did first was I punched out my bases. So we have this. And then I pulled out my insane mess of embroidery thread. So I used pink with a um, lovely, like, I guess, a grassy green. But this time I think I want to make a blue flower. And I'm looking to see if I have enough... Um, embroidery thread and I do to make my blue flower I think I do so we're gonna try that and then I will decide on what I want to do next but this is so simple this is just this is actually guard, guard getter goo <laughs> sorry it's late I call this art getter goo <laughs> but um, it's actually art glitter glue it doesn't have glitter on it and it's just a water-based um, white glue that is non-toxic and it does not and it dries clear and it's i put just put it in this little bottle and this has been well loved it did have a label on it saying what it was but uh you know how things happen in the trenches they it it's it looks like it's been through the uh crafting war zone which it has so <laughs> okay so um let's get let me get started so i have my um glue and this is going to be a tish messy if you don't like um, gluey hands you may want to try to figure out another way around this 
or you um, or just don't do this at all. But this glue washes off so fast. So um, I'm going to take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very generous, uh, this is almost empty, I need to refill it. I'm going to take a very generous, don't worry about being overly generous. Okay, I think I just about ran out of glue. Or maybe it's clogged. Why does it wait to do this when I'm on camera? Okay, and I'm recording. I had this all set up and everything. Okay, here we go. I have like a little dime size or maybe a little more of a nickel size in my hand. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, the amount that I think that I want for my, lots running, you don't have to, maybe I put the glue in a little too soon, but this is what I did last time. So just take the amount and just the amount that you think, and you can kind of put it down on here and see if you're going to fill up and cover that round dot. Okay, I probably should have waited to put the glue on. Okay, but you want a little bit more than you think you do because you are going to be using glue. Okay, but I love this 3D texture with this simple idea. It's just um, really a neat addition to a journal page. Okay, so I'm going to take my, <laughs> I'm gonna take my thread and it's already just kind of balled up and I'm just going to put it in my hand with the glue and I am going to roll it into a ball. Then, I am just going to pull it apart. Okay, this is, okay. I think I used a little bit too much glue. Um, but let's see if we can work with it. If not, I'll just redo it again. Okay, so what happens is you can put this down on your flower and then you can play with it and move it around because the glue before the glue dries and um, that'll be fine you can still kind of stick it down and play with it so this one is a little bit I'm a, used a little bit too much glue I think <laughs> for this one so let me retreat and do that one more time this time I'm going to put a decent amount of glue on my hand and I'm going to use a little bit more thread I really want to bunch up my thread because it will go down when you use um, when you're making your uh, when you're making whoa I haven't used that in a bit when you're making your flower okay I have no idea what is coming out of my art glitter glue I've not used this apparently okay oh, let me get rid of that Okay, so apparently I must have had a pen in it that um, started to rust or something. Okay, so I have my stuff again, and I'm not going to use as much glue. But this will be a perfect size for this. But this kind of gives it that rosy look that you have when you um, are able just to kind of bunch it up. You can just get that natural look of a flower. And you can play with it once you get it down. So try not to smash it too much like I just did, okay? So we're going to put glue in my hand now that I have my my stuff out. I'm not gonna put as much, maybe just a dime size this time, and I'm not going to roll it around as tight, okay? I'm just gonna roll it around a little bit just to get that messed up look, okay? Please keep in mind I had only done this once, so, uh, before and I just got so excited about it I wanted to show it to you okay so this is what I'm going to do with my flower so I'm going to first of all or secondly can't even keep up with my steps okay I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my paper punch that index card punch and I'm going to put the flower on. And first of all, I'm just going to make sure that it moves to where it covers that flower, okay? I'm not worried about anything else because I can always come in with a little bit more glue and pull this to where I want to, or if it's still kind of gluey, you can pull, pull it, you know, and just leave it. But you can always add more glue. And my hands have already gotten sticky. 
I did not want that to happen. This didn't happen so, it didn't, my hands didn't get so gluey this fast last time, but maybe it's cause I didn't have to do it twice. Okay, so we have this. So I'm just going to leave it at this for now. Okay, um, let me just put a little bit more glue on there. So see, you can work with it, but you, you do want it to have a very natural flow to it. Okay, so just let that sit there for a minute and then I'm gonna show you what I do next. Okay, that does not look like much, but remember, this is our prototype. So, um, this does, can, whatever, get, <laughs> this will improve as we go along. Okay, I have something in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I can fuss with this some more in a little bit, but I wanna get my um, greenery on that looks like my petals or whatever. So, let's see, I think I'm going to use this green. Okay, I have a, an embroidery floss drawer that definitely does not look, <laughs> or that definitely has everything organized, and I always seem to go towards this back for some reason. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, you can leave it on. Let me see if I can back you out. Oh, but I can back you forwards. Okay, or back you forwards. Listen to this. Okay, I haven't even eaten dinner. It's kind of late, and I haven't even eaten food today, actually. I think I had some pretzels, so... That's it, so I, I, I'm, I'm food deprived, so my brain is not working. I'm just gonna blame it on that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is you can leave it on the skein here and work with it um, without, without um, cutting it, and that's what I did. Uh, that way I knew I could use as much as I needed to. Let me get, okay, I'm going to get one of my handy dandy baby wipes that I need to get some of this glue off my hands. So when I start getting glue all over my hands again during this process, <laughs> I won't uh, be sticking as much, hopefully. Okay, I always keep these um, baby wipes, these unscented baby wipes next to my, next to my table or on my table or whatever. Okay, so, all right, I have this. So this is what we have. And it will improve as we mess around, but I'm just le letting it be as is. And remember, here's the this one. Okay, so this is what I started with. This is exactly what I started with. And I may have just fanned this one out a little bit as I went along, and you can do that. But like I said, I just wanna get the base on first. So um, I worry about fluffing it out or whatever later, okay? so. Each one will be different, of course, so this one may not be quite as big or round as that one. I don't think I had as much embroidery thread. Okay, so enough talk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. Oh, that's where my stuff went. I was wondering what, why it didn't look as full. Okay, because it was bunched under. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have this now. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to put it on that the bottom of that card. And then I am going to put this down. I hope you can see, put this down and then make a little loop like this. And then I am going to make a bigger loop that goes over that. And you can move this around. So let me show you what I'm starting, okay? So you can move these around in the glue. Um, so you can kind of get your desired look, but I, I don't, don't want to drive this one out too much, so I'm going to just kind of go on through. Okay, so then, if your glue is dry a little bit, you can just put a little bit more on. So we're going to go, and this one I may not do as many petals, I may just do a few, just to get the idea across, but see, I have another leaf. I don't know why I'm calling it petals, goodness. Okay, and then I'm going to come back around, and I still have glue on the back. Just enough, I'm not drenching it, just enough to stick it down again, okay? So now that I have this, I'm going with this. And I think I just wanna do one more, um, maybe just do one more. Um, I may just wanna do one more little loop here, and I may just want my flower to be like this instead of having stuff all the way around or maybe just not as just maybe not as much 
but um, okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. I want this one just to have like a little bit of green on the top. So I, my glue is dried because I've been running my mouth. Okay, this kind of looks like Mickey Mouse ears for a second. I, let me see. Okay, let me move this one over because I'm going to make one more. Okay, and you can make as many loops as you want on these. So don't, you're not limited to two, but see, because this one I just did three. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue. And you're looking at this in the back going, what a mess. Well, I'm going to show you what we do to tame that mess at the end. So then I'm just going to loop it over again. And I think I want to make this third one a little bit bigger than the others. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make my small loop first. I hope you can see this. You might look, I do all of this and then I'm not recording or something. Okay, so I'm going to do a loop and you can do it, you know, as tall as you want. Like I said, I think I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger here. I just pulled the thread. Okay, can't fuss with it too much though, if you do. You just end up with a bigger mess. Okay, so this is here. Okay, then I'm going to finally just do one more smaller little loop here just to add a little bit more volume to my leaves. And I pulled that loop up, which happens. Pull it out, retreat, do it again. So. That's what I had to do a while ago. That's what apparently I'm going to have to do on this one. But I have kept this all. I probably should stick a little bit more glue just to secure this down. I'm kind of having a, a rough time of it this evening. I I wanted to get an, this idea out on video, but I, um, <laughs> I'm really probably not in the best state of mind with being tired and I'm hungry up to doing a video, but okay. This, I promise, is you don't will not be as fussy um, as it looks here. I've just had everything go wrong. Okay, I think I'm just, I'm making more loops than I said I was going to. Okay, I am going to just leave it with this. Okay, so here we go. And I'm just gonna take my little snippets and I'm gonna snip it off in the back. And this is what I have, okay? All right, it looks like this. But this is what it looks like in the front. Okay, so I'm going to take, I told you I, we punched out two of these. So I'm going to take this, up, I'm going to lay this one down. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit. Maybe that'll help you see a little bit better of the movie. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to put some more glue. I'm, and I'm going to put it around maybe just a little bit more than that because I'm going to put it over my thread, threads here that I put in the back. That way they get securely held in my little petals, okay? So now I might wanna go along and play with my, and pull out some of my threads. Just be gentle with it. Just don't pull on it too much until you learn, um, which I apparently haven't gotten that far yet. Till you learn, um, you know, where it's, how it's going to be, um, or how it's going to pull for you and according to what glue you use and etc. Okay, so I have this one. Okay, and I'm just going to do kind of a little side, whoop, side thing there. Okay, let me see. I'm going to stand up. That'll help. Okay, make sure that none of the um, underneath of my card is showing. Okay, now just to add a little bit of personality, I just took another piece of um, embroidery thread and just stuck it in the middle here. Uh, so I think I'm going to take that maybe, this gold maybe a little bit too much. I, I don't want um, it to be too bright in my journal. Okay, I'm just going to take a little, a little piece, and I mean this is like an inch and a half long or something. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my finger and I'm going to roll this around and again I'm going to try not to roll it around okay to roll it around to where I smash it this is okay if it's kind of a little bit smashed looking but I want this to really kind of raise out of the um, the flower um, and please pardon my fingernails they're not dirty I was coffee dyeing um, some trims and some cloth earlier today 
Okay, so I'm just gonna actually, instead of squirting it on my flower, I'm gonna just put it on the back, just a little bit on the back, and I'm going to stick it in the center of my flower. And I may want it a little bit smaller, so I may smoosh it in there a little bit more. I may wanna fluff, pull up some of these threads and fluff this a little bit more. Get it how I want. Okay, and you can always go back down if you mess up, okay? So I have this. So if I wanted to put this on this little cluster, all this was was a little uh, piece of cheesecloth that I just tore and just used, uh, pulled the ed frayed the edges a little bit. And then this was a part of, the, of a piece of the index card. And I just inked it and went around it with some brown ink and then put a little bit of gold pen. But I mean, you, you don't have to do all that. And you might want to do different ones for different things. Okay, then I had this, um, this, this was white, um, solid white stuff that I, um, and I coffee, had coffee dyed it today and I was really eager to use it. So I just stacked this here. And then you could put your little blue flower here. Now let me show you on a journal page. You can go, you can layer this more, um, and or you can, um, well, I was looking at this. This is an embossed envelope that I did the other day. But if I didn't have that there, and I wanted to put something, I may probably wouldn't use a pink. Um, oh goodness, you're so close now. Okay, but you may probably wouldn't use this, but I mean, it could go in the corner of an envelope or something as well. But um, this is just a white envelope I embossed and used some inking techniques and a little bit of gold um, antiquing paste. And okay, so save that for another day. So if I wanted to put this on a page, oh, let me back you out now. I am still getting used to manning this and talking. So if I wanted to put this in the corner of a page, I could do this and I could do it like this. Let's say I wanted to put it on my lace page, or say I wanted to just put it on a plain page. So let's like flip that. Okay, this may be a nice page because here's a um, an opposing page, and if I wanted to use the blue flower, and I just kind of am catty corner, catty corner, catty corner. I've just been moving stuff around and just kind of doing it how I want, and I am out of frame. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I could do this. I could also, if I wanted to add another dimension or I wanted to add a little bit more color to it, I could take a piece of cloth and just tear it and stick this here. And you can ink this card to whatever color you want. So it's optional and you could put a word here if you wanted to. But yes, you could do so many different things with this um, idea. So. I am probably going to decide what I want to do with this, but for now, this is what we have. Um, I guess I can move this cloth out of the way, but you get the point. So these are the two that, um, the, here's the prototype. Okay, it's all messed up, but you get the point. Here's the prototype. You could put, what I'm thinking about doing is actually taking some worn lipstick or something, um, a color like that, and stenciling just a, maybe a, um, just a layer, or I don't know if you see that, one of these type stencils, maybe more of a swirly design, um, just stenciling the whole page and then putting this on there, and that way it won't, it may not look so plain. You can put book page on here. You can do whatever with this, okay? So this is this, one more time. Here is the one with the blue. Okay, so there's so much you can do. You can do whatever you want to. This is um, your rodeo. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial and that you have found value. Um, please visit my Etsy store. It is linked in the YouTube below. It's also called The Creator's Attic and it also has the same logo as my YouTube channel. I have lots of trim and lace and uh, um, handmade journals, uh, playing cards, trim samplers, sticker samplers, um, antique and vintage, all antique vintage ephemera kits. I have junk journal starter kits. I could go on. I have a lot of stuff in my store, so check my page out. Um, again, it's the Creator's Attic on Etsy. So, and I, like I said, there's a link below. If you 
find value here and you would like to see more videos or you like what you see, I would really love it if you would hit the bell and subscribe. You don't have to hit the bell, I don't believe, to subscribe, but um, the bell will notify you of any time I put a new video out. Um, okay, so I really, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this once again. I'm going to get something to eat before I completely pass out. So <laughs> have a great one, you guys. Bye-bye.